Hi, I'm David Cloninger, South Carolina beat writer for the Charleston Post and Courier. Welcome to gloomy and rainy Tampa, Florida, where in a few hours you're going to see Michigan and South Carolina kick off in the Outback Bowl. As you can see behind me, the field is not in great shape. They've got a, a wet paint uh, sign on the field. They've also got some dryers uh, being driven around trying to get the field a little more dried out. The Tampa Bay Bucks played on this field uh, with a 425 start time yesterday, and it was raining all night. So it's going to be a bit difficult for people to get any kind of solid footing today. They did replace the sod in the middle of the field. They did replace the sod in the end zones. They got a quick paint job down on them, but it remains to be seen of how dry it's going to be during the game. The game should be a, a pretty low scoring one, I think. Um, you know, Michigan's got a really good defense. South Carolina, despite all of the offensive new things that they could do with Brian McClendon in charge, I just don't think they're going to be able to get a handle on Michigan's speed on defense. If they do, Jake Bentley's going to have to get rid of the ball quick and try to get something operating with a lot of up-tempo attacks. I'm thinking it's around to Michigan 17 to 7, Michigan 21 to 10, but you also have to think, is Michigan really going to want to be here? Uh, the Wolverines didn't have a terrific season, at least by their standards, and South Carolina definitely wants to win this game. So uh, kick off at noon. We'll see what's happening here, and there should be around 15,000 Gamecock fans ready to come in and try to steer the Gamecock to a victory. I'm David Cloniger. Be sure to check us out on the web afterwards at postcourier.com.